Hi, my name is Thomas Maurer. I work as a cloud advocate at Microsoft. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Azure Update Management on Microsoft Azure Stack. Okay, one of the big advantages of running virtual machines on Azure Stack is the tight integration um, between Azure and Azure Stack and the same management experience. However, this is completely optional. If you don't want to integrate Azure Stack and want to operate in a completely disconnected environment, you can do that obviously as well. Now, with the integration into Azure, you get a couple of Azure Virtual Machine management benefits. So for example, with uh, update management. So let's have a quick look here at update management in Azure. You can see here that I have the system update assessment running for my free virtual machines running on Azure. So if I click on that, you can see that I have two Windows virtual machines and the Linux virtual machines. And you can see that some of them are missing updates um, and some of them are patched correctly. You can also see which updates are missing. Now, the great thing is I can also integrate on-prem virtual machines. Um, I can do that in different ways, but with Azure Stack, I can do that even simpler. So I just copy the workspace ID. I go to my Azure Stack portal, go to my Azure Stack virtual machine I want to join, click on extensions, click on add, and select the Azure Monitor Update and Configuration Management extension. With that, I go to create, enter the specific workspace ID and the key. And this now will join my um, virtual machine running on Azure Stack to the Azure Log Analytics workspace in Azure. After a while, uh, those virtual machines will be connected uh, to Azure and will also show up in the update management solution. So let's have a quick look at the Azure portal where we now can see um, the assessment showing six uh, computers or six virtual machines, three of them running in Azure, three of them now joined from my on-prem Azure Stack. So you can see here I added Azure Stack SQL 02, uh, Azure Stack DC 02, and my file server 01, uh, which are all Azure Stack virtual machines. And you can see that they also have missing updates and you can see which updates are missing on them. Now, if I switch to the update management in the automation account, you can see here which virtual machines are um, compliant and which are not. And you will also see that they all show up as Azure virtual machines because Azure Stack is basically Azure. Um, so we get all the advantages there as well. So to fix the non-compliant virtual machines, let's schedule a new update deployment. Let's call it patch Azure Stack VMs. We can select if it's Windows or Linux deployments. In this case, we're going to deploy updates on Windows. We're going to select the virtual machines we want to patch in that deployment. So I'm going to select all the Azure Stack um, machines. I can then also select the updates I want to deploy. In my case, I want to deploy everything. And now I can schedule uh, when that update deployment should run. I can do that like once, or I can also do that recurring. So for example, like weekly or monthly. And then I can also set the reboot settings. So if they reboot if required, or they always reboot after the update deployment. So let's create that deployment. And now the deployment is scheduled. And at the specific time when the deployment like starts, uh, the virtual machine will go in like maintenance mode and basically get patched. So if you go to history, you can see now that this update deployment is running in progress. Uh, this will install the updates on the virtual machines. And if they're done, it will also automatically reboot those virtual machines as well. So this is just one of the advantages if you run virtual machines on Azure Stack, you can basically take advantage of these advanced deployment uh, mechanisms and you can use Azure management features like update management or Azure monitor uh, not just on your Azure Virtual Machines, but also on Azure Stack. To join Azure Virtual Machines, uh, you cannot just do that using the portal, but you can also use, for example, an ARM template to deploy that 
uh, Azure monitor and update and configuration management extension to your Azure Stack virtual machine so they get automatically uh, joined to Azure update management in that case uh, if you want to.